Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, so <laughs> I'm uh, testing a, a red controller for Phil, and I just fired it up. And I wasn't going to record it, and I said, eh, why not? Um, so I went ahead and fired up the graph to, so we could monitor the, um, well, the chamber and probe temp. And as you can see, I have a cook by probe turned on. <laughs> I have the target temp turned up to 400 degrees. That's just because I, I want to monitor it. I do believe the probe is just dangling outside. That's probably why it's on zero degrees right there. I'll go plug it in here in a second. And uh, right now it's an Ignite Fire, I, I think, yep. So it's an Ignite Fire state. I just turned it on just to, well, as you can see, uh, let's see, this is set for four or five minutes. Let's go look at the config. Let's see. Scroll down. Yeah, so the default is four minutes. So it's been on about a minute. All right, oh, sorry. Right here, not the fuel on, man. If you're wondering, I don't know if anyone noticed, but there's a little Wi-Fi doohickey up here. I, I've been doing some work on it. Phil's probably not gonna get this load. I should have put in a field load. In fact, I might just go ahead and do that. Um, this just happened to be what I, when I was building a controller, I just dumped it in there because that's what load I've been working on. It's the 513 load. And I just stuck it in there just to uh, test the controller hardware as, as I was building it. So uh, anyway, let's, let's monitor this graph. And I'm just testing it. Oh, I can see good. It's already lighting up. Yeah, my, my grill lights pretty quick. So uh, there you go. So I'm going to plug that meat probe in. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, so we're outside now. I hope you can see that okay. I'm using one of my Canon uh, video recorders, and and it doesn't it doesn't uh, compensate for light as well as my cell phone does. But getting videos off my cell phone is a pain. This one I can just plug a cable in real easy. I can plug a cable in my cell phone too if I remember to bring it with me. But anyway. Um, there's a picture of Phil's new controller. He didn't want the external Wi-Fi and and he was having some problems with the other one. He sent it back to me to look at that external Wi-Fi, so I just went ahead and swapped it out with him. Okay. Oh, let's see here. We'll get that off of the auger there. So uh, oh yeah, I was gonna plug in the So you need to remember when you're messing with these probes and everything. You need to remember to, um, uh, you know, uh, make sure you don't have any static electricity because this controller is sensitive to it, especially the probe inputs right here. I think I did a video on it a while back. And uh, if you zap it, uh, you're not going to kill it, but <laughs> it's not going to like it too much. Probably reset the ADC. It doesn't like being zapped with, it, with ESD. So uh, anyway, it's just something to keep in mind. And uh, all right, so it fired up. I'll go ahead and stick it in the, in the chamber right here. Yeah, okie dokie. Okay, we're back inside. <laughs> I see I forgot to um, move the probe back to probe one. So uh, we'll go ahead and fix that real quick. Let's come down here and tell it to watch probe three. All right. And, um, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna put it on precision cook because I believe Phil uses that a lot. Enter save. All right, that should fix our graph. And a little bit of an overshoot right there. I'm not sure what I was doing last time. Yeah, that's usually um, a result of leftover pellets in the pot. So, uh, okay. Well, I'm going to let this run for a bit. Uh, I don't see any spikes. And I'll show you what Phil was looking at. 
Uh, hold on for a sec. All right, so uh, this is what Phil reported. And I don't remember what he said he was cleaning. I, I, I guess the chamber probe. But yeah, he was seeing these spikes and uh, I made some notes. Um, right here, I won't go over it. I'm gonna do a video testing the, the controller you sent in. I started doing it, but I, <laughs> I've been so busy I just haven't had a chance to uh, finish it. So uh, actually, I took it over to the house and I'm using it to cook on, <laughs> cook with. I cooked some ribs on it last night, but I didn't have the graph running. So, because um, I just threw them on there at 225 for, I don't know, eight hours. We were busy doing some other stuff, so I just left them sitting there. Uh, but anyway, it did a good job. Um, but, so yeah, he was reporting this. And by the way, you can see from the, temp the temperatures right here, um, as the, when it's doing this, doesn't uh, really affect the operation. Well, these big ones will, uh, but these little down spikes right here uh, don't won't really affect the operation of it unless it dwells <laughs> on zero. And that's usually usually this dwelling on zero is um, is a bad probe input. Uh, the ADC resets in about I don't know 10 milliseconds, so uh, well maybe longer than that, maybe 30 milliseconds. But anyway, so you'll you'll get these spikes in the graph, but um, yeah, when it dwells way down here, then you're gonna start screwing up Patsy. So this is this is bad. So anyway, he sent it in to me. I'll do a video on it. I'm not gonna go into it, but uh, yeah. So um, there we have it. I'm gonna let this run for a bit and check in with you. Okay, so the controller's been running about 40, I don't know, three minutes or so. And uh, it had a bit of a wavy start there, didn't it? But it finally settled down and uh, it's chugging right along. So I'm gonna call this controller good to go. I'll go ahead and turn it off and, and ship it to Phil. So I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.